Mr. Nelson? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Chairman and distinguished members of the committee, I believe some uh, more extensive comments were circulated earlier. I'd like to just summarize those, especially given the very kind introduction by Senator Klobuchar. Um, I am deeply honored to appear before you as the President's nominee to be the Ambassador of the United States to the Oriental Republic of Uruguay. I am very grateful to President Obama and Secretary Clinton for their confidence and trust in sending my name to the Senate for your consideration. And I am particularly appreciative of Senator Klobuchar's kind introduction. If confirmed by the Senate, I look forward to working closely with this committee and with your colleagues in the Congress to advance our interests in Uruguay and in the region. My wife, Gloria, who is with me here today, um, has been a vital partner throughout my career and shares my excitement about this new challenge. Our son, Alex, grew up in the Foreign Service life. He's now in Boston where he's working on a master's degree at Boston University. As a career Foreign Service officer, I have been honored to serve my country in six previous overseas posts and in increasingly responsible domestic assignments. Many of the jobs have focused on economic policy, ranging from promotion of development and economic growth to working to constrain the flow of funds to international terrorism. In all of my positions, both domestic and overseas, promotion of U.S. exports and business opportunities has been a priority, and if confirmed, I intend to maintain that priority. The opportunity to be considered for this position is exciting. Uruguay is an example of stable democracy, not only by holding regular elections as it has just completed, but with a deep commitment to democratic values, civil rights, and civil society. Following its recent elections, Uruguay will inaugurate a new government next year. I am confident that the United States will work with that government to continue to build on our positive relationship based on mutual interests and shared goals. If confirmed, I will certainly seek to continue and enhance our many areas of cooperation, both for their own mutual value and to support the habits of cooperation they develop between our two sovereign nations. I served in Montevideo early in my career as a junior political officer with a human rights portfolio in what was then a military dictatorship. The traditional political parties were then exploring, indeed pushing the limits of political activity that the regime was just beginning to allow. I attended political gatherings whenever welcomed not to indicate partisan support for any particular Uruguayan politician, but to demonstrate the U.S. government's support for the political process itself and for the restoration of democracy. Having played an admittedly minor but deeply committed role in the political transition a quarter of a century ago, it would be a deep personal honor for me to return to that now flourishing democracy as United States Ambassador. Back then, I supported the Uruguayan reestablishment of democracy. Now, if the Senate agrees, I would seek to strengthen, deepen, and broaden the already strong relationship and the areas of cooperation between our two democracies. Thank you, and I welcome any questions. Thank you, Mr. Nelson. Mr. Nelson, what are our top foreign policy priorities in Uruguay? Thank you, Senator. Um, I think the, the first and foremost mission of the, of the U.S. Embassy in Uruguay is, is um, support for American citizens. Uh, there are not as many as in Costa Rica, but there's an increasing number of Americans resident and visiting businessmen, scholars, um, tourists. Um, clearly, that's that's one of our key objectives. In terms of uh, one of the key missions of the of the embassy, um, in terms of, of foreign policy objectives, we share a number of interests with Uruguay. Uruguay is, uh, on a per capita basis, the largest contributor of peacekeeping troops to global missions around the world. They are significant presence in Haiti and in the Congo. Um, that's something we very much support and, and, and share uh, with them, um, that desire. Uruguay, uh, furthermore, is, a, um, is an example of, of restored democracy and, and a democratic system that functions fully um, at all levels. It's not just a, an election, but it's, it's a recognition for the importance of civil society, of, of the, the full role of parliament, of, of an entire system. Um, and uh, the leading by example is an important part of, of what we like to see from, from Uruguay. Um, we have a growing trading relationship with them, which is also important, and a, um, and a, a global view of, of all those issues, trade, democracy, human rights. They're on the board of the IEA in, uh, in Vienna, um, where they're an important partner. Uh, they have just expressed interest in joining the Pathways to Prosperity as a full member. Um, where they would highlight uh, 
their educational achievements to the first country in the world to achieve the one laptop per child uh, goal, where they've distributed that to every child in schools, and that's something that um, they perhaps could share with the rest of the, the hemisphere, the, the how-to of that, which is uh, something we would like to see as, as enhanced um, uh, education, of course, throughout the, the hemisphere. And uh, the new president-elect, how do you think that will change uh, their relations with the United States? The um, the new president-elect was the, who was just finally elected in the second round uh, this weekend um, is from the same uh, coalition of parties that's been in governance for the last five years. We've developed a very strong relationship with the current government uh, from that party. Um, of course, it remains to be seen if there will be uh, any changes of nuance, any change of direction, but uh, my understanding is that by and large he, he ran on a platform of continuity based on the success of the of the current government across a range of, of, of spheres, from the economic to the social to the educational, etc. Um, so it is my hope and expectation that we would be able to uh, to further develop that strong relationship. Miss Andrew.